Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude, acknowledging your sovereignty and goodness in every aspect of our lives. We thank you for both the good and the difficult experiences of this past week, recognizing that all things work together for our good and your glory. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose, Romans 8 verse 28. Lord, we trust in your perfect plan and timing, and we are grateful for your presence in every moment of our lives. Lord, we thank you for the blessings and joys we experienced this week. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows, James 1 verse 17. We acknowledge that every good thing in our lives comes from you. Thank you for the moments of joy, peace, and contentment that you provided. Whether it was time spent with loved ones, the fulfillment of a goal, or simply the beauty of your creation, we recognize these as gifts from your hand. Father, we are grateful for the strength you provided during the challenges we faced this week. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my psalm I praise him. Psalm 28 verse 7 In times of difficulty, you are our strength and shield. Thank you for sustaining us when we felt weak, for giving us the courage to press on, and for being our refuge in times of trouble. We praise you for your faithfulness and for the joy that comes from trusting in you. Lord, we thank you for the lessons learned through the trials and hardships of this week. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, James 1 verses 2 to 3. We recognize that the challenges we faced were opportunities for growth and refinement. Thank you for using these difficult moments to strengthen our faith, to build our character, and to draw us closer to you. Help us to see the value in every trial and to trust that you are using them for our good. Father, we are grateful for your comfort and peace in times of sorrow and distress. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted, Matthew 5 verse 4. In our moments of grief and pain, you are our comforter. Thank you for holding us close, for wiping away our tears, and for giving us the peace that surpasses all understanding. We are grateful for your presence in our darkest hours, and for the assurance that you are with us, even in the valley of the shadow of death. Lord, we thank you for the opportunities to serve and bless others this week. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many, Mark 10 verse 45. Whether it was through a kind word, a helpful deed, or a listening ear, you gave us the chance to reflect your love to those around us. Thank you for the privilege of serving others and for the joy that comes from being your hands and feet in the world. Help us to continue to look for ways to serve and bless those you place in our path. Father, we are grateful for the times of waiting and uncertainty we experienced this week. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40 verse 31 ESV Waiting can be difficult, but we thank you for the strength and perseverance that come from trusting in your timing. Help us to be patient and to rest in the knowledge that you are in control, even when we do not see the way forward. Lord, we thank you for the relationships that enriched our lives this week. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity, Proverbs 17 verse 17. Whether it was family, friends, or colleagues, we are grateful for the people you have placed in our lives. Thank you for the love, support, and encouragement we received from others, and help us to be a source of love and support in return. 
We are grateful for the ways you use our relationships to strengthen and uplift us. Father, we thank you for the opportunities for growth and learning this week. Let the wise listen and add to their learning, and let the discerning get guidance. Proverbs 1 verse 5 Whether it was through new experiences, challenges, or insights, you provided us with opportunities to grow in wisdom and understanding. Thank you for the knowledge and skills we gained, and help us to continue to seek wisdom and discernment in all areas of our lives. Lord, we are grateful for the moments of stillness and reflection this week. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 46 verse 10 in the midst of the busyness of life, you called us to be still and to recognize your presence. Thank you for the quiet moments of prayer and reflection that allowed us to connect with you on a deeper level. Help us to make time for stillness and to seek your face in the midst of our daily lives. Father, we thank you for the challenges that pushed us out of our comfort zones this week. I can do all this through him who gives me strength, Philippians 4 verse 13. You gave us the strength to face situations that were difficult or unfamiliar, and we are grateful for the growth that came from these experiences. Help us to continue to trust in your strength and to be willing to step out in faith, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Lord, we are grateful for the moments of joy and laughter this week. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs 17 verse 22 Whether it was through a shared joke, a beautiful moment in nature, or time spent with loved ones, you filled our hearts with joy and laughter. Thank you for these moments of lightness and happiness, and help us to find joy in the simple pleasures of life. Father, we thank you for the difficult conversations and conflicts that arose this week. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Proverbs 27 verse 17 These moments were not easy, but they provided opportunities for growth, understanding, and reconciliation. Thank you for the grace and wisdom you gave us to navigate these situations and help us to continue to seek peace and understanding in our relationships. Lord, we are grateful for the times of solitude and rest this week. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11 verse 28 In the midst of our busy schedules, you provided moments of rest and renewal. Thank you for the times when we could step away from the demands of life and find peace in your presence. Help us to prioritize rest and to find our true rest in you. Father, we thank you for the lessons and humility we received this week. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. James 4 verse 10 Whether it was through a mistake we made, a failure we experienced, or a reminder of our limitations, you taught us the value of humility. Thank you for these lessons, and help us to walk humbly before you, recognizing that all we have and all we are comes from you. Lord, we are grateful for the ways you revealed yourself to us this week. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Psalm 145 verse 18 in moments of prayer, worship, and reflection, you made your presence known to us. Thank you for drawing near to us and for the assurance that you are always with us. Help us to seek you continually and to be aware of your presence in every moment of our lives. Father, we thank you for the challenges that deepened our faith this week. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, James 1 verse 3. These challenges were not easy, but they pushed us to rely on you more fully and to trust in your promises. Thank you for the perseverance and faith that were strengthened through these experiences and help us to continue to grow in our walk with you. Lord, we offer this prayer of gratitude for all that this week has brought both the good and the difficult. 
Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18. We thank you for your presence in every moment, for the ways you have blessed us, and for the ways you have grown us through challenges. We trust in your goodness and faithfulness, and we give you all the glory and praise. We offer this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We believe this prayer has added virtue to your faith and is already active in your life. We invite you to share your response by commenting, Amen. Your engagement is more than just support. It's a way to spread hope and faith. If you feel inspired, please share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily prayers that uplift and inspire. Your involvement is invaluable to us. We also welcome your prayer request. Feel free to leave them in the comments. And together, as a community, we will bring them before God. Your faith and our collective prayers can create a powerful force for blessings and victory. Remember, you're not just a viewer. You're a vital part of this journey of faith. Each like, share, and subscription helps us reach more hearts every day. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ accompany you always.